Hey guys, this is Tom with CellPhoneTricks.com review of the T-Mobile Comet. The T-Mobile Comet was originally known as a Huawei Idios. Um, so not that anymore, T-Mobile Comet, get that in your head, awesome. It's going to be part of their new prepaid uh, data line that is also gonna have data, their prepaid uh, service line that's gonna have data capabilities. Um, if you don't want to get the data, guess what? It is a Wi-Fi enabled device, support for B, G, and N signals. So it's going to be running um, really good Wi-Fi. I did some tests on it during my review. I really enjoyed the Wi-Fi capabilities on this phone. Problem is, it's only 2.8 inch display with a resolution of 320 by 240. So that was a little disappointing. A lot of the apps were either shrunk, uh, hard to see, or they were still at full size of VGA quality instead of HVGA and you just got half your app cut off and you could only see half of your viewing experience, so that was a little disappointing. Uh, other than that, with a small screen, uh, 528 processor and Android 2.2, thumbs up for Android 2.2, uh, Froyo, frozen ice cream, or frozen yogurt, I apologize. And uh, on top of that, it is a really great device and it runs really, really well. That's all I have to say. Um, so let's get to the review and I'll show you all the features and what I liked and what I didn't like and some of the other specs. All right, here's the T-Mobile Tap. T-Mobile Tap's a pretty nice device. Uh, start with the front, you have your 2.8 inch capacitive touchscreen display of HVGA quality. Again, that's 320 by 240. H stands for half. And accept call, end call, directional pad, basically you see this right here. Uh, we have five home screens. Uh, you have your browser, you have accept call, and your uh, menu. On the side, you have your volume rocker bar. On the right hand uh, side of the phone, nothing. Has this nice um, rubberized coating on the sides, gives it kind of a nice feel. On the bottom, you have your mic with your, US, your micro USB charging port. Your 3.0 megapixel camera with a uh, dual speaker port right here. It's mono, it's just two holes for one speaker. On the back here, just slide this back. You have your two gigabyte micro SD card, uh, your speakers right here, and your SIM card goes underneath the 1200 mAh battery. Uh, battery life was uh, really well. I got a full day's use out of the entire device. Actually, more than that, about a day and a half use out of the device. And after, you know, and charging worked very, very quickly. I'd only have to leave it on for maybe an hour and a half and the whole device would be charged up. So that's really, really pleasant. Some of the things you guys will be interested in is messaging. Take a look at the virtual QWERTY keyboard. We'll type a new message here. Uh, it does come with swipe. So that's really pleasant. And I'll demonstrate that to you here. See this blue line? That's for swipe. And it thought I was trying to spell a word and throw out does have, does take a little while if you notice it was about a two second delay, three second delay before we could actually uh, switch into landscape mode versus portrait. So that was a little disappointing. Overall, uh, threaded text messaging as well. And we'll go into the, the actual uh, menu here. Do have support for Gmail, uh, email clients as well, and should be in here somewhere. Support for instant messaging in here somewhere as well. You do have uh, access to the Android market. It is, like I've been saying, Android 2.2. Can't say that enough because it is going to uh, their prepaid line. So I'm just really astonished by all the features that this is going to have, and yet it's going to be an extremely affordable device with an extremely affordable. Um, plan. Uh, here's uh, our speed test. You have Telenav GPS, uh, on, onboard Twitter, onboard Facebook as well. That was up here. Some of the other things I really enjoyed about this, the call quality. Uh, people, when I was in a moving car with the windows down, people could tell. Uh, that I was outside and I was in a moving vehicle, but they could still understand me very clearly. I could understand all of them very clearly as well. There wasn't a lot of, uh, there's not a lot of bloatware on here. You can view, there's document readers and everything, but 
uh, has 512 megabytes of ROM and 512 of RAM, or 512, uh, 512 of ROM and 5, uh, 256 of RAM. But with 2.2, you can store all your applications on the SIM card. It does support up to a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. Uh, however, those are fairly expensive. I would like to see maybe two um, micro SD card slots support for 16 and 16 because that's actually more affordable than 132. But, you know, economies of scale, eventually 32 gigabyte micro SD cards uh, will become more affordable. Next thing, uh, the phone, again, for only 512, only a 2.8 inch screen, it's very responsive. There's not a lot of lag here. Uh, some of the more complicated apps off the App Store that I was testing seem to bog down the phone a little bit. Um, I've deleted most of them off of here, but I'm trying to find one, but I don't see one on here that I can show you that was really complicated. But most of the easy, more simple, such as speed test or um, you know some of the the jumping game where you go up and down, but there's still not a lot to this. I uh, will show you the camera. We'll get into the camera here. It does have video capture capability. Here's a camera. What I really enjoyed about this is how simple it is. All your settings are right here. It's not autofocus, it's a fixed camera, three megapixel fixed camera. So you just hit the button, it takes a picture. And you come up in here and you can change your picture size. You, your geotagging, your, you know, your white balance, the auto incandescent, you know. Let's see, let's see what happens when we change it to fluorescence. Everything is really blue in here. Maybe daylight. Yeah, auto seems to be the work for the best. And you do have a digital zoom that you can, um, oops that you can control like this, and that's about it. I took some pictures, um, actually in my own personal home. I will be brave enough to show you that. Oh, I may have deleted them. Whoops. Anyways, you also have switch to video and you only have three things. You have your color effect, your white balance, and your video quality. Go back in here, but you can go into gallery. Oop, camera videos, wrong one. Let's go ahead and switch, switch to camera, hit menu, switch to gallery. So very simple camera. Uh, this is some of the zoom options that we had. This is a farther back version. That's it zoomed in. It's the same shot, just that's far out and that's zoomed in. So the zoom works fairly well, but things become grainy. Uh, things in low light, let's picture my dog. Things in low light kind of tend to blur out in shadows because there's no LED uh, flash for the camera, but you can still get a fairly good idea of what's going on. Again, a low light situation, but it still takes a fairly decent photo. And easy to delete or easy to share. You can share via Bluetooth, Facebook, Gmail, messaging, Picasa, or Twitter. There you go. And we have to delete these because I have to send it back. So we only get to borrow these phones from T Mobile. There we go. Go home. Overall, the T-Mobile Tap is a really, really nice phone. I've really enjoyed it. It is just a standard uh, smartphone, Android 2.2. Not a lot of extras, not a lot of bells and whistles, no flash, uh, but does support 10.1 Adobe Flash with Android 2.2. Full HTML web browsing is very uh, nice on the device as well. And then on top of that, messaging, threaded message, Gmail, email accounts as well. So you definitely, definitely looking for an affordable phone this Christmas season for a family member, yourself, a friend. Definitely check out the T-Mobile Comet. 
and decide for yourself if it's right for you or them. That's basically all I can say. Cellphonetrek.com is on Facebook and Twitter. Check us out there. And at Cellphonetrek on Twitter, Cellphonetrek, T-R-E-K, search that in Facebook and you'll find us, like us there. You'll be privy to all the free information uh, free information. It is all free. The free information with the free giveaways we'll be having as well in the coming future. So I uh, want to say thanks for watching. Um, let, you know, thank the big man upstairs. And uh, this is my fake Oscar speech, so I apologize. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day.